The conflict between Ukraine and Russia is increasingly reliant on technology. The West has begun to provide the Ukrainian army with modern weapons, including Patriot and Iris-T air defense and missile defense systems, GLSDB high-precision gliding bombs, and HIMARS multiple rocket launchers. Ukraine has received high-precision airborne long-range cruise missiles, Storm Shadow, manufactured in the UK. The video explains the nature of these missiles and their potential impact on the Ukrainian-Russian military conflict. Storm Shadow is a high-precision, long-range weapon that the West has previously provided to Ukraine, along with the Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The missiles transferred to Ukraine have a range of 250 to 300 kilometers or 150, 180 miles, as confidently stated by the British Minister of Defense. This article describes the export version's features, which have a 560 kilometers or 350 miles range. The Storm Shadow is a highly advanced weapon system, with its key parameter being its intercept range. A range of 250 kilometers or 150 miles is sufficient to strike targets such as the Russian Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol, as well as weapons and fuel depots and airfields deep in Russian territory. Missiles of this class are technologically advanced. It is only available in a few countries worldwide. The Storm Shadow missile was developed in 1994 by Matra of France and British Aerospace. Today, Matra Bay Dynamics Alenia, a division of British BA Systems, exclusively manufactures the missile. The company is based in France and has divisions in the UK, Germany, and Italy. The British version is called Storm Shadow, and the French version is called Scalp Eag. But they are manufactured by the same company and operate on the same principle, just made for different aircraft. The missile boasts a maximum flight speed of 1,000 km per hour, or 620 miles per hour, and weighs 1,300 kilograms. Each shot carries a price tag of approximately $2 million. It is equipped with a two-level warhead developed by Broach Technology, with the first level designed to burn through obstacles such as armor, concrete, or earth, and the second level to penetrate the target and cause maximum damage. This warhead is highly effective against command posts, ships, and submarines located in heavily fortified structures, such as bunkers and bridges. Storm Shadow uses two types of navigation systems. However, the GPS system can be jammed by re-B means, which can render it ineffective in situations where both sides use such means. It is important to note that while GPS can be vulnerable to jamming, there are also countermeasures that can be taken to mitigate this risk. For example, there have been frequent reports that GPS-guided HIMARS missiles and GLSDB bombs have become less effective due to Russian jamming of the GPS signal. GPS and Inertial Guidance This system does not require an external signal source, making it more difficult to jam using REB means. It is important to note that, like any system, it has a disadvantage of accumulating errors. The third guidance system, Terrain Navigation, compensates for any potential inaccuracy. By creating the missile's flight route in advance using maps based on satellite pictures, this system ensures precision. Additionally, the missile continuously monitors the distance to land or water with its built-in altimeter, further enhancing its accuracy. Missile's onboard computer compares the terrain along its path with the data on the maps with confidence. The Storm Shadow flies at an altitude of 30, 40 meters or 100 feet along a predetermined route skillfully avoiding obstacles and areas with enemy air defenses. Upon approaching the target, the missile ascends and then descends with precision for accurate data calculation and target detection. The missile confidently releases a cone-shaped nose during descent, allowing the infrared thermal imaging camera to effectively scan the target area. The guidance camera and automatic target recognition data, in conjunction with information from other missile systems, are then compared with the pre-launch storm shadow data and a map based on satellite imagery. The missile strikes the target. Storm shadow surpasses some Russian counterparts, like the Caliber missile, in terms of warhead power and subsonic flight speed. Notably, Storm Shadow is an air-launched missile. It is designed to be launched from NATO air carriers, such as British Tornado aircraft, French Mirages, Rafale, or European Eurofighter Typhoons. Although the Ukrainian Air Force does not currently have these machines, 
They do possess the Su-27 Heavy Fighter and the Su-24 Fighter Bomber, which are capable of carrying these weapons as carriers. These aircraft are responsible for transporting the missile to the desired launch site and executing the launch, while the missile itself takes care of the rest. Ukraine has extensive experience integrating Western aircraft missiles with Soviet airplanes. The American AGM-88 Harm anti-radar missile was successfully adapted for launch from a MiG-29 fighter, demonstrating Ukraine's expertise in this area. Recent information confirms that Ukraine has continued to master this weapon. The city of Luhansk, previously considered a safe haven for Russian troops, was recently targeted in a military attack. The attack was carried out with precision, utilizing two Storm Shadow missiles and an American AGM-160 MALD missile, which can simulate a cruise missile, simulate a tactical fighter, and provide electronic cover for other missiles. The initial strike with British missiles was successful for Ukraine. The Russian military has repeatedly demonstrated their highly effective Echelon air defense system. The Storm Shadow missile's only advantages are its metal hull and low-altitude flight, as it lacks stealth. Ground radar stations are ineffective in this case, and airborne radar is necessary. The Russian military has access to the A-50 airborne radar, which is similar to the American Boeing E-3 Sentry AWACS. This system confidently detects a cruise missile and transmits its coordinates to the air defense system. The Russian Buck anti-aircraft missile system, which infamously destroyed the Malaysian Boeing 777 in Donbass on July 17, 2014, or the Panzer C-1 missile and cannon system, will be promptly activated. Recently on March 25, Ukraine launched a massive attack on the temporarily occupied Crimea. This attack also involved a Storm Shadow missile. Preliminary, at least two of them hit huge satellite dishes, radar systems, and administrative buildings of the occupiers. Only one missile was probably intercepted. American military expert Tyler Rogaway, after analyzing satellite photos, said that the large landing ships, Yamal and Azov, which came under attack, most likely did not suffer serious damage, the publication reports. Britain made the right decision by transferring Storm Shadow missiles to Ukraine. We hope this missile will help Ukraine win. We are confident that you will find our future content just as engaging. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you again soon.